Okay, so we're going to make this little guy's beak have a nice, bright, uh, warm yellow glow. So what's really going to help me is I have, in the last video when I colored him, I did everything on separate layers. So that's going to be a big help uh, in this. So the first thing we want to do is go to the, the layer where the beak is. And we're going to add a new layer on top. And we're going to make that an add layer. All right, so now we're gonna go back to the beak layer. We're gonna tap the beak layer and hit select. Okay, so now we're gonna go up to this layer right above the add layer that we just made. We're gonna take the same color as the beak, except we're gonna, we're gonna lighten it. So we're gonna bring it up just so it's a, a pale version of, of the beak color. And now I'm going to take the soft brush and I'm just going to, essentially I'm going to make the inside of the beak the light source. So sort of like when you look at a lampshade and the lamp is bright but you can see it's brighter where you, if you can see through it to the light inside. And you just want to, you just want to brush this in nice and even. And I'm trying to leave that nice uh, rich yellow along the edges. So it's almost like the light source uh, is in the middle. Okay, that looks pretty good. And if you want to fix it, you can always uh, take the soft brush and smudge and just kind of just kind of smudge it around just so it's nice and even. All right, so the next thing we want to do is we want to take, we want to make a new layer underneath the beak. And that one we're just going to leave normal. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the beak color and I'm going to take my soft brush. So right now we're behind the beak so I'm just going to softly brush in that same uh, nice yellow that we have for the beak. And I'm just really painting just really lightly. Give it a little bit more. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just Gaussian blur. And I'm just going to I'm just going to blur it a little bit. Okay, that looks pretty good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to duplicate that layer. And then I'm going to Gaussian blur it a bit more just so it uh just so it sort of spreads the glow out a bit. There we go, that's good. And if it's too much, you can lower the opacity, you know, as needed. Depends on how, how bright you really want it. Okay, so on the first layer, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I'll make it a little bit, a little bit lighter, and I'm going to use the noise brush just to get a little bit of, a little bit of texture in the, the atmosphere because that's that's what's making us be able to see the light it's just the atmosphere that's around all right that looks pretty good so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this uh, the layer that's above the beak so that's the light source layer and I'm just gonna go to to really bright white and I'm gonna go back to my soft brush so what I'm doing now is essentially just making the light source in the beak even brighter so I'm just kind of let me make sure I'm on the right layer yeah so I just want to kind of color in right in the middle
So just color in right in the middle so that sort of just makes it look that look like there's that that light that light source is inside. I think that looks great. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a layer uh, I'll make it above above this layer and I'll just leave it I'll leave it neutral but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of those light yellows or paler yellows and I'm gonna use my trusty light pen and I'm just gonna make some Just gonna make a little, some little uh, bits of dust and things in the atmosphere. Uh, sometimes you can smudge them a little bit. You know, if they start looking a little too uniform, you can kind of smudge them a little bit. Because essentially, you just want the light would be hitting things. If it's so bright, you're just adding that atmosphere and adding that adding that dust in. But you don't really want to be you you don't want it to be too in your face. So the next thing I'm going to do on that same layer is I'm going to take the stubble brush, which I love. I'm going to I'm going to make it a little a little darker. And I'm just going to So I just added a little more a little more atmosphere. And I'm going to take this this really low layer, uh, the the bottom layer that we uh, we did the Gaussian blur to make the blur bigger. I'm going to take the soft brush. I'm going to make it really big, and then I'm going to lower the opacity to about 35. I'm going to make it a little warmer too, use a little more orange. And just sort of spread that orange out a little bit. I'll do a I'll do a Gaussian blur. I think that looks pretty good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make I'm just going to glow the um, this words these words as well these letters. So the inside is fairly light. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a pink and I'll take my soft brush and. So I'm going to select it and I'm going, to, I'm going to make a layer above. So I'm going to do the same exact thing that I did for the for the beak. Except this time I'm just going to paint in I'm just going to paint in on around the edges a little bit. Okay, so now I'm going to take another layer uh, underneath, and I'm, I'm going to use my trusty gauge and blur, or my uh, trusty soft brush. I'll just make a nice glow around it. I'm 
I'll make it a little lighter. And let me, let me gauge and blur this a little bit. That looks good. So now I'm just going to make it just so uh, I'm going to make it a little bit lighter around the outer edge. Okay, just do a little bit of a gauge and blur just to kind of, alright, so one thing I wanted to do is just, I'm going to select glow again and I'm just going to make it a little bit more, I'm going to make this a little bit more, um, I just want to make it so it looks like the light is inside something that's that's purple. And if the light's in the center, then the very outside edges are what's going to be purple as well as that's why the glow is purple as well. Um, let me get rid of this a little bit. This is a little dark here, so I'm just going to lighten that up some. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Oh, one thing I don't see is it should be bright underneath there. So, let me lighten it up a little bit. Just give some light back there. Okay, I think that looks great. Thank you.